All right, um, drive time tips. Uh, what am I? What am I? I'm calling this uh, writing advice. Writing and writing, writing, writing advice. Anyway, this is Jeff Carroll, sci-fi writer, um, answering a question. Yesterday, uh, I was at an event for Black Panther discussion and um, was passing out my, my book markers and uh, an aspiring writer came up to me and asked me, you know, um, how, do, who do, how do I get my books out? How do I do it? And I mean, this is a real simple, very basic question that like writers all, um, self-published writers, all of us get asked, how do you use and how do you get your books out? Well, the landscape has changed and it's in the, in the process of changing again. Um, this time, I, um, I well, currently I use CreateSpace. Um, I use a, a variety of things to help me get my books out. Um, and they changed. Uh, when I first started my first book, I designed it on Photoshop, the cover, and the uh, physical printer that I used was not on demand. You had to print. The more books you printed, the more, um, the lower the price was. So I think I printed like 200 or, or 300, and um, luckily I had an order to fill the books. But um, yeah, that first printing, print run was challenging, um, but I got it done, and that was my hip-hop dating guide. Um, I used uh, Photoshop to design the cover. It was very simple. There's tutorials now online to help you use, you know, uh, a, a little graphics program to help you design your cover. Um, so that was available. But now, um, in, in Microsoft Word, and I converted my, um, my text layouts to PDF, and then you send them that way. Um, now... I uh, use the same Microsoft Word, same thing in terms of uh, typesetting it. Um, you know, there's tutorials on there in terms of having your new chapter start on the right side. Uh, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I've seen, you know, if you go look in books, you'll see some of them have different formats depending on the story, especially sci-fi. Sci-fi can have graphics in there. Now... Um, uh, you can lay out your own book and you can put a graphic in there that's black and white and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, in the back of my, in the back of my last three books, um, I put ads for all of my prior books in the back of my three books. So that, that works. Um, and I took that idea from like, uh, some of the, um, weekly books that if, if you have to, I think Harlequin does it. Um, if you read Deathland series or the Executioner series, those were like monthly books and they used to have all the, you know, ads, like it was a comic book in the back of the book. Um, but you know, upcoming chapters, you can always add that. So, um, I, I am, uh, for my current book that I'm writing now, I'm going to use Grammarly, um, online grammar, um, correction program that I think will help me, um, save money on editors um, my first book I paid twelve hundred or fifteen hundred dollars to edit Thug Angel um, and now I'm paying close to six hundred dollars but it all depends on um, how many words you have or your page count um, words are for submission so my books are around sixty to seventy thousand words um, that used to be the thing. Now, you know, anything over 30,000 words is a novel now, um, especially ebooks. And people probably been doing 25,000 uh, for, for, for books now. That used to be a novella, but I think the numbers are changing. Um, anyway, um, and that's for prose. For nonfiction, where there's a lot of pictures, there's no word count. It's nothing. It's, you make up the price based on your publisher and what they think they can get for it. Um, but for for fiction, science fiction, fantasy, and all that is a, a number count. And fantasy goes up to a hundred thousand. So you see those books a little bigger, uh, deeper, because they have to have uh, um, you know they have a lot of world building and stuff like that. So anyway, those those are the the, the word count. Um, now in terms of 
the actual layout of the book, um, I, I've used a designer, a graphic designer. Uh, shout out to um, my man, gosh, I gotta look in a book, I can't remember. Maurice Scriber, but I'm trying to read you. I think it's, it's something hippo, golly. If you look in my books, it's, um, I give him full email and um, um, website in my book covers. So you'll see who designed my book covers. Now, um, other book covers like uh, the, um, Rashida, the zombie killer, I used um, pre-designed covers. And pre-designed covers are cool. Um, you get to make, maybe, depending on the artist, one change. Mostly, they just ask you your name and the title of the book, and that's it. You may be able to say, can you slide this here? Can you do this? And with uh, Rashida, I got them to change the color of her eyes. Her eyes, the way he had designed it, were green. So I had her had him change the eyes to brown, because Rashida is not a zombie. She is the killer of the zombies. So the blood splatter and all that was a part of the pre-design list of the cover. Um, and actually, two of my other books with uh, um, Black Beauty Presents Publishing um, it are um, pre-designed covers. So Thug Angel is a pre-designed cover and Gold Digger Killer is a pre-designed cover. Um, that's that. Now, um, what else? Okay, now, so you have that. They'll send you the, the design cover and you can send it to the printing company or like with me, I use Create Space. There's, um, there's uh, gosh, another company. There's a couple of companies. So I don't know all of them. Um, I forgot the other one that I was gonna mention. Um, laser something, I can't remember. But I use Create Space currently. Now um, people are telling me that their relationship with Amazon is challenging and compromising, so I may change up But on uh, my next couple of books. Uh, but um, right now I use Create Space. They are cool, they let you upload your cover, they send you a preview copy, which you have to pay for. Um, but you get your preview copy in the mail. And if you do things on time, you don't have to wait to the last minute. It's print on demand. So they also connect with um, um, Amazon. And when people order your books, you don't see them. You just ship them out. The reason why I went that route is because when if you don't go that route, then you have to hold books at your house or your apartment or in storage and people pay you by um, electronic payment either into your bank account or to PayPal okay I think Square now has something where you can collect uh, money online so and then they would send you the address and you would mail them a copy now I have that opportunity for people who want to get a signed copy some of my friends they say you know I'd rather buy it from you the downside on sometimes on that is it has to be a, a, a confirmed sale in order for people to write a review on Amazon um, so that's the pros and cons and also I was scared that if I blew up and my book was like hundreds you know of copies I would not have copies in stock for people for me to mail out then I would be at work and I'm like yo when am I gonna go to the post office you know I used to see people there that do eBay sales they have like 400 un envelopes and um, I was like dang I don't know if I want to do that but you know I'm selling like 10 books a week you know 10 books a month you know what I'm saying one book a year I'm joking but I'm not selling hundreds a day. I'm not selling hundreds a month. Okay, so that's not that big of a deal for me. And kind of if I was, then I would be doing other things um, than, than, than school teaching, all right? And that's a goal. Uh, but I just thought that that would be a burden. But it is not a burden, and there's ways to even make that easier. But um, I use Create Space, and they do a print on demand. I usually keep about 25, 30 copies of each and one of my titles in my house so that way I can always um, go to conventions 
and go to book fairs and anything that comes up, I always got a book. Um, it's not that bad, but I'm up to six or seven titles now. So as I start in the next two books, it's going to be another 50 books I'm going to have to keep in the closet. And it was easy when I first got, you know, one book, two books, three books, four books. But now five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of books. However, you know, it is my life and I got to get these stories out. Now, the other company that um, it's not Astro, but um, that Amazon works with is Lightning Source. And they are, they also connect, they do operate a little different than Create Space, but they're not that big of a deal. The difference between print on demand and using a book printer is um, shipping. Now, shipping can be $25, $30 for 100 books, but now that adds up to two, uh, that adds up to almost two dollars, a dollar extra to your book cost. So if you have a book, the printing is coming to four dollars, now your shipping has made the book cost two to um, six dollars. And why is that important? Because ten dollars or nine ninety five, that's what mass market paperbacks go for now. Walmart goes down to six and seven dollars yeah, because they buy in bulk, but I'll explain to you how they sell it. Um, and then mostly what people do, we don't do a uh, mass market. We do a little bit uh, bigger. It's a, a, a six by nine. I'm not sure the measurements on um, the books that you see. Let me see. I have a book here. Um, this is the book I'm reading. All right. Um, but this is, I think this is maybe... That was four. I think it's four by seven, four by four by seven, four by six. But that book, they people sell these for. Um, they sell these books for uh, uh, fifteen dollars. Okay. Now your book coming. Say this book comes out. It's six fifty, seven dollars with shipping, right? Now your retail stores take a sixty forty split. So out of um, fifteen dollars. They're taking seven dollars. So if your book costs seven dollars to make, seven and seven is fourteen. Um, now you're you're looking at a dollar profit. Now if they're doing a 60-40 split, you can't even get them to do a 50-50, you're gonna lose money on each book. So you wanna try to get your books down as low as possible. That's why you don't see a lot of self-published people. Um, put their books in bookstores. If they do, they already understand that that book is just for advertisement, and they may break even because the the bookstore may take nine dollars and leave you with four. I mean, I'm six, and that's like right at cost. So um, that's the challenge with that. Why do people print um, uh, physical books? Because if you can print like three hundred, no, you can get your book down to four dollars. You print a thousand, you can get your book down to two dollars, two fifty. Um, a lot of the street, um, a lot of the street um, lit urban book um, people do that. I have had a guy approach me, telling me he could get books at um, uh, what do you call it at a um, dollar fifty in print them in China. So anyway, um, beyond that. Um, you get your copyright and your ISBN number. ISBN numbers were like $100 each. They may be $125 each. I haven't bought mine in 10, 15 years because when I first bought my ISBN numbers, you had to buy a block of 10. And I'm only up to seven books, so I have two or three more left. And um, now, if you're doing eBooks, you don't even have to have an ISBN number. So you save that money. ISBN numbers are only for shipping and, I mean, um, for sh uh, retail stores. So, um, and I'm pretty sure even if you self-publish, you might not even have an ISBN number. But uh, copywriting is like $40. So, um, and you can do that online. And that's about it. So anyway, um, 
Definitely use an editor, shop around, get an editor, understand developmental editing is different from proofreading, getting getting a genre specific, especially if you're doing sci-fi, you want to get somebody that's familiar with sci-fi when they edit your book, because it's not just commas and periods and, and capitalizations, so some of those things are important, um, but I, I try to cover everything on my little list here, so I covered the cover design, the printing, the pricing, um, editing, what else do people, you know, sh shipping and stuff like that. So, all right, I think this has been informative. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. All right, peace.